Greetings folks, this is Sayer G, the founder of GreenMedInfo.com and I'm here to announce the availability of a new feature in our database that you are seeing before you. Create a focus PDF, create a focus page. Now in order to understand the power of this feature, we need to backtrack a little bit. So let me wind back here and tell you a little bit about where I am. I'm on the turmeric page, which is actually in the substance index, you'll see it on our header here which actually happens to be one of 1625 substances that we have indexed. Now if you go to the T from A to Z and you look up turmeric, you're going to find that we have over 1500 studies now indexed on the benefit of turmeric for human health. Now if you go down, you're going to see a big, big, big list. These are all the abstracts that we have called from the public domain database, Medline, provided by the National Library of Medicine, which is in part taxpayer funded. So this is your data that you have um, actually in your taxes paid for uh, the research that has led to these conclusions. And what are these conclusions? Well, let's go click on our advanced topic options. This set of features was designed really for the professional members and basic members that want to get at the research from a different angle, not looking at just each individual study, but getting a sort of bird's eye perspective. So what you have here is a quick summary, and you'll see there's 586 diseases that have been in some way linked to turmeric in the sense of it preventing or treating, meaning improving a condition. And you'll see that there's a lot of data. So if you scroll down this page here, these are all the conditions that have been studied to potentially be a benefited from turmeric. It's a lot of data. <clears throat> so what we've done over the years is provide a set of features to not just provide sheer data which is a little overwhelming but to give you a way to target that information. So for example if I'm interested in breast cancer and turmeric I can hit the focus articles feature which is great because what it's just done here as you can read up at the top is breast cancer has been focused all 61 articles with this term will be displayed first for quicker access below so if I go down there they are there are our 61 studies so if I'm someone concerned about breast cancer interested in turmeric I have research here which is from the National Library of Medicine, mind you, if I hit the actual link, the PMID link on all these abstracts, it takes me right back to the original location of citation on the National Library of Medicine's database. So, this is great, it's wonderful, but previous to the advent of these new features that we're describing right here, Creative Focus PDF or Creative Focus Page, you had to be a member to see this research. Now say you're someone who's writing an article about turmeric and would like to make the claim that there's research from the National Library of Medicine supporting the benefit of turmeric or curcumin, which is the uh, primary polyphenol in this spice, um, for breast cancer. Well, previous to this, you'd have to say, well, Greenman Info is a great site. It's got the research on it. And you can go on the National Library of Medicine and look through thousands of citations. You'll find several dozen there. It's very different from going and clicking create a focus page. So what our database is doing right now is just creating a custom URL, okay, where basically all of that data is now housed. So we have 50 studies that are in vitro, 11 animal, that's 61 total, all supporting the connection between curcumin being a benefit for breast cancer. So what you can do is this page isn't just created for you, although you are the professional member who's been empowered to create it. It's created for the public to view. So you could take that, you could hyperlink it into the body of a text in the very statement, for example, that says curcumin is, is, is valuable for breast cancer. You could hyperlink that statement and it has gravitas. It has evidence. It is now protected from liability in the sense of it just being baseless, anecdotal, whatever invectives they use to discredit natural medicine. Now it has that evidence that we've spent years gathering. So that's the beauty of this new feature. Now if I'm going to go back here and show you the other aspect is called create a focus PDF. Say you have an oncologist you're working with. A newly diagnosed individual with breast cancer for example can simply click now to create a PDF of these results which is now owned by them which they can send off to whoever they choose and it will list now all of this data 
but the added benefit is that let's say the physician is interested and they're open-minded and they want to look at the research if it was just a matter of it linking back to Greenman info hmm maybe not as interested but when you click this hyperlink it goes back to the original location here curcumin is a possible lead compound against hormone independent multi-drug resistant breast cancer that's one study of course there's 61 studies in that document this feature is available for unlimited use to our professional members as a way of saying thank you for having confidence in us thank you for supporting us thank you for using the services we've already provided if you go up to the top and look at become a member you're going to see 12 features that we've developed for the professional uh, cast, so to speak, those who are actively involved, who are legally empowered to help others with um, their health, or those who, for example, are the, you know, sort of the town uh, health expert, those who are the health coaches, the health food store um, staff, who are trying to get information in the hands of people that can make an informed choice. All of these features are here, there for them. And this is only one of many. Um, so anyway, thank you for tuning in. And I really hope this new feature is used for the, the intended purpose to empower and to make people really see that natural medicine is evidence-based. Thank you.